Do not make these mistakes as a smuggler in Star Wars Galaxies. Don't. And if you're already making them, just, just stop. Smuggler. Today, myself and Vulture from V The Legend YouTube channel are going to be giving you three what not to do's for the smuggler profession. And make sure you stay to the end because we're going to be spotlighting somebody in the Star Wars Galaxies community that was voted on to be spotlighted. Maybe it's you, maybe it's your friend. Stay to the end to see if you're popular. Guys, do not invest in these two skills. Skullduggery and impossible odds. They never worked, they don't work now, and they probably will not work in the future. In that vein, do not screw up using the pew shoot first skill. The action cost is incredibly high and it's not worth using in most scenarios. Most scenarios due to the action cost. Also, whatever you do, only use pistol whip if you need to. Do not go out of your way to use it. Certainly do not put yourself in harm's way to use it. Why? Because you're going to be without it when you actually need it. And if you're rushing in, you might as well be passing out in the middle of the fight. You never want to be vulnerable, and you certainly don't want to be without your last and best line of close combat defense. Remember guys that smugglers, they, they need to survive, especially in PvP. Let your opponent blow their load so that you can have longer sex with sexier women. <laughs> That analogy got super weird super quick, but I hope that you know what I'm saying. I'm sorry, V, Vulture, uh, save us. Sa save, save us. Let me simply add that it's my very good honor to meet you, and you may call me V. Are you like a crazy person? I'm quite sure they will say so. Thanks for having me, I'm V the Legend. Now for Smuggler, I recommend not to sleep on getting the Master Underworld Smuggler missions completed. PvE, PvP, space missions, driving endlessly because you aren't allowed to use shuttles and have to move under the radar, it can get very tedious. You have to go through five tiers, gaining underworld faction points by delivering bricks of cocaine to different locations in the galaxy. The good part is there's great rewards. As you go through the tiers, you gain permanent bonuses to your init armor protections, permanent range increases, which is very helpful because pistols have a short range, illegal pistol mods that increase your damage significantly, and the Master Underworld Smuggler title for your accomplishment. Definitely a lot of great bonuses that will help you in whatever combative content you plan on getting into with your smuggler. If Joshua hasn't told you already, we decided that we're going to team up, feature on each other's channels in a series of what not to do with every profession. Keep an eye out on both of our channels for the latest one. Now I'm about to go eat some tacos. Peace. Absolutely right. Don't ever, ever overlook the Master Smuggler reputation system. I mean, the additional damage, 12%, the additional armor is the difference between life and death. Of 12% damage, that also cuts down your fights by 12% in both most scenarios. That's a little bit of math. My step or tip, my tip, my just the tip number two, my second just the tip, my second just the tip of what not to do is don't waste your time while being a smuggler. What does that mean? Um, as Vulture from V the Legend said, while doing these smuggler runs, while smuggling the bricks of cocaine, don't waste your time getting on your bike and riding, regardless of what Queen said. I know that Tatooine's a beautiful... No, 
I know that Naboo is a beautiful planet, but you, you still don't want to drive seven to 10,000 meters to do a delivery quest. Instead, what you do want to do is make sure that you're in a group. So you can do a call for pickup. If you're in a group of other people or, you know, your alternate character on another computer or your secondary application. Uh, once you find out where your delivery mission is going to be, have the group leader take a shuttle, immediately head on over there. Once he gets to that shuttle, do a call for pickup. You accept the call for pickup and boom, there you are. Instead of taking 10 to 15 minutes, driving across the desert sands of Tatooine, running over Womp Rats, no, you're going to be there. And you can get to uh, rank 3 in about 25 minutes, which that sounds pretty good to me. I can hear you asking right now, Joshua, are you condoning exploiting? Uh, first of all, everybody's been doing this since live. I've been doing this since live. I've been doing this since right now. It is everywhere on the internet. I'm not reinventing the wheel. And even if it was an exploit and it's been around for this long, if you're not cheating, you're not trying. All right, we asked, you nominated, and everyone voted. We're spotlighting a player in the Star Wars Galaxies Legends community, and this week's winner is Nikolai. Nikolai started on Legends in February 2017. She, yes, she, uh, mainly plays entertainer, but she has copious amounts of other characters. A veteran of Star Wars Galaxies, Nikolai started playing Star Wars Galaxies in 2005 on Sunrunner. She considers herself an entertainer, Taylor first, and combat profession second. She has characters named Serica Celia, I believe I got that right, Alicia, Snorkel, and Circleine. Yeah. Nikoline created Dangbang on Talus outside of Derek in May 12th of 2017 and has been a mayor ever since. The main reason why she was nominated by the Star Wars Galaxies Legends community was for her commitment to helping and her kind personality in the cantina. Hmm. Nikolai plays entertainer and in her words she says that she likes helping out the community, she likes being social with other entertainers, and she loves to decorate and has decorated a lot of the houses in Dangvang. She also has a tailor, a structures trader, a bounty hunter, and a light side Jedi. If you want to visit her shop, make sure you go to 431 minus 4277 on Talus, and make sure you check out the guild hall for a testimony of her designing skills. If you'd like to nominate someone, please do so in the comments section. It would also help to say why you're nominating them. As V mentioned, he and I are doing a series of videos just like this. One, what not to do for each profession. The first was a bounty hunter, what not to do, and that was dropped on his channel, V the Legend. So make sure to check out both of our channels for more incredible Star Wars Galaxies content. Like I said, we're going to go through each profession. If you like the video, like the video. And we would be honored if you would join us by hitting subscribe. I mean, why not? We have a ton of Star Wars Galaxies content and continue to do so several times a week. Until the next video, I am Joshua with Weird Gaming Adventure. And we at Weird Gaming Adventure love you in a weird way. Take care.